Well, you know, the the, the Bernie the Bernistas or the Bernieistas or whatever you want to call them, they are um they are still in there strong. I mean, Bernie's got to run the table. Mm. <clears throat> and he and you know, he's got to win by 15% more than Hillary in order to catch her. But and we are moving California to come up. In California, New York, uh, Pennsylvania are all still in the mix, which are very delicate rich states. Mm. But where Hillary is most vulnerable is in the smaller states. Those that have caucuses, those that have uh, anything other than a traditional primary. While there are winner-take-all states in places like California and other, um, she, her her path well, got a lot strong. easier. Yeah, she does really well <coughs> in primaries because she's got a very good get-the-vote-out machine. <coughs> so people will show up and they will go to the polls for her. Hmm. But you know, Bernie has no way back. If he'd lost every state. Uh, he would have been in, 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 in big trouble, and I don't see a way back for him. But if he puts a string of... And, and the interesting thing is that he filed suit um, to get uh, state delegates, the super delegates, uh, proven to be illegal. Now all of a sudden he realizes he needs super delegates in order for the math to work for him. So they're probably going to have to drop that lawsuit. I mean... It, it, it looks increasingly likely that, well, <clears throat> how likely is it for the establishment to step in and stop him becoming the nomination? I mean, clearly, he is, he's sort of it. He's a populist candidate. The, the, the analogy I make is you've got, um, you know, I, I, I referee <clears throat> basketball, and you can pretty much tell when you watch warm-ups how a particular team is going to do at a particular time. You know, if, you, if if one team shows up and they've only got six guys and the other team shows up and they've got nine or ten guys and you know that come the fourth quarter of the game, the team with the nine or ten guys is always going to do much better than the ones with six because they're going to run out of gas. Mm. Well, it's the same sort of analogy here is that he's done a very, very good job in the beginning, and now he's got to show he's got the legs to survive and and have mm. this last, and 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 that I think and is, that's is, all is, important. Is, that last, mm. you know, lap is all important, isn't it? I should think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 